everyone. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm here tonight to share with you uh, an item. This is something I haven't done in quite some time. It's a Dooney and Bird unboxing. So let's get right into it. And I am so ex excited to open this box because this is something that I don't currently own in Dooney and Burke, so oh, I'm just praying that it's okay. It's not used, not a return, no blemishes. Um, I just hope that it's in perfect condition. Oh, let's see. Oh. I'm so nervous. Okay, so far, just a little peek that I see here. So far, maybe good. Just dive right into it. This is the Dooney and Burke Florentine Leather Medium Russell. And this is the first item I've ever owned in Florentine Leather. And I've heard so many wonderful things about Florentine. And um, I've heard that when you open the bag, the smell of the Florentine is one of a kind. So, let's see. So this is the medium muscle. And I have number 36 of 650. So let me go ahead and get this open. So far, it looks like it's completely brand new. No one's ever had it. And I'm just so praying that's the case. And there's no pebbling or anything like that because I don't want to purchase something that's supposed to be smooth leather and I receive it with pebbling. I can understand if that happens uh, as time go by from use, but I don't want to receive it with any pebbling at all. So let's see. I see some tiger stripes here, which I don't mind that. There's a little pebbling here on this corner. Look at the front. This bag has a little pebbling here. I don't know if you can see that. I don't think I'm I don't think I'm happy with that. Because again, if I'm gonna buy buy Florentine, when I receive it, I want it completely smooth as silk. I don't know about that. Hmm. Let's open it up. Take a look at the inside of it. That's why I was so nervous. Uh, I'm, this is why I, 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 I haven't purchased anything in Florentine because I was always afraid that it would not be smooth when I received it. That's just the dust bag. Here's the inside of it. Oh, 
What do you guys think? What do you think? What do you think? And everyone talks about the smell of Florentine. I don't smell anything. It smells like a, a normal leather bag to me. Did I just do that? But it is in the color. My first Florentine piece, I wanted it to be in the color natural. And the color is beautiful. I love it. Um, I didn't know how, how I would feel about not having the gold plate. But um, it's, it's pretty. I, I can actually live with that. Um, I love the zipper on the back. The fact that it's a red zipper. I love that. The contrast against the, the um, natural tone leather. I love that. I'm just not sure. I'm not sure. <sighs> I'm not sure. But it is a beautiful bag though. But because it's not 100% smooth, I don't know. that there I don't like that mm -mm. I'm not sure and again this is why I procrastinated about purchasing a Florentine bag because I would was afraid that it was not going to be completely smooth and actually, I did not want this to be my first quarantine piece. The one that I actually wanted, it was on sale uh, a couple of weeks ago. And I saw it pop up. And I wanted, I meant to purchase it, but I had an emergency come up. And I had to drop everything and tend to that. And later on that evening, I mean, hours later, when I got back on, on the site... It was completely sold out so I'm hoping maybe for the holidays um, it'll come back in stock and I'll be able to purchase it but here it is this is my medium Russell Florentine tote and um, I'm not sure if she's gonna be a keeper I, I do like it I do like it a lot I'm just not sure if it's gonna be a keeper because it does have some pebbling on it. And in my opinion, if I'm gonna spend my money on something that's supposed to be smooth, I want it to be just that smooth. So, but I'll let you guys know what, what I ultimately decide because after all, it is a beautiful bag. I do like it. Okay, well, I just wanted to come on really quick to share that with you this evening because I've had, had this for a day and I couldn't wait to open it any longer because um, I, I wanted to see it. So with that everyone, thank you so much for uh, watching tonight and I will let you know if I decide to keep it or return it and if I do decide to keep it, I'll come back with an update to uh, share with you how, how I chose to carry this bag. Okay, thank you so much for watching and bye bye for now.